good everyone, it's MJO23Dan back with another video and today's video I have the Air Jordan 3 Katrina. Details on the box label, it is the Air Jordan 3 Retro in white, fire red, and cement gray. Suggested retail price is $190. So the year is 2005, Hurricane Katrina blasted through the city of New Orleans, devastating the state of Louisiana. Many people lost their homes, their lives, and their sense of hope. In an effort to alleviate the situation, Jordan Brand did an eBay auction. This ended up taking place in 2006, and at the time, Jordan Brand auctioned off a pair 1 through 21, a couple basketballs, and some signed items. Now to this day, we don't know who actually won the auction, but shout out to that individual for assisting in the relief fund. This colorway was featured a couple times uh, around the sneaker culture, and specifically through Derek Anderson. Derek Anderson was a player on the Portland Trailblazers and among other NBA teams, but it was in 2003 that he was wearing this specific colorway with details personal to him. So these were actually a player exclusive to Derek Anderson back in 2003. Then in 2006, we see the Katrina, what it's dubbed, Air Jordan 3. And it's basically a white cement with the red back instead of the black. In 2006, it was still not retro and it stayed with that auction. In 2009, Jordan Brand erected a Hall of Fame display for Michael Jordan when he entered the Hall of Fame in 2009. And this pair specifically is in the case. Fast forward 2018, Jordan Brand releases the white and red Air Jordan 3. Now I respect that they considered naming it just white and red because the player exclusive is just as it is exclusive to Derek Anderson, and the Katrina Air Jordan 3 is specific to hurricane victims. We also hear 2009 Hall of Fame, but Jordan Brand altogether just went white and red. Or is it reds? I can't argue with you. No, you mad. Whatever the case may be, this shoe looks awesome, and I'm glad that it's finally here. Now the sneaker comes in a full family size run, and that's awesome because I feel like the whole family should gather in on the opportunity to grab this pair. Uh, just like I said earlier in the video, it is basically a white cement 3 with red on the back. Not many people know this, but the picture has been floating around for quite some time, but there is an image that I shared from 2006 where Gentry Humphrey actually shared a sample of this specific shoe. And it was with this image that I took at the Soul Collector finale in Las Vegas at the Caesars Palace, specifically Nike Town, where competitors from all around the world were competing for this grand finale. So if you guys are interested in seeing that video, I'll go ahead and pop it up right here on a card and you guys can come check it out. My initial thoughts, great quality. The leather on it is fantastic. It's really soft. It's got that nice tumble leather. It's got a smooth rand on the sides. The elephant print looks decent as well. It's not that greatly indentated elephant print that we've seen before. So it pretty much blends in with the overall material in the shoe. And then we have Jumpman on the back, the Jumpman Air. A lot of people have said that they prefer the Nike Air, but you have to remember that this specific pair did have Jumpman Air on the back. So I feel that Jumpman Air is true to form. Nike Air is specific to what you see on OG colorways, so I feel like that should stick with that. And retros with new colorways such as this one should stick with the Jumpman Air. It does come with a Jumpman Air hang tag, and it's the same color blocking as the shoes. The tongue has a nice tumble leather on it, and the Jumpman on there is stitched really well. This is a great iteration of the three. I'm really proud that Jordan Brand was able to create a shoe, the Air Jordan 3 specifically, in such great materials. I mean, we've really come a long way from what True Blue was, and you can really tell off the leather on this specific pair and the, the three overall, it was just not good quality at all. So it was just plasticky and felt cheap. And, you know, Jordan Brand really upped their game when they started creating, you know, later models of the Air Jordan 3. And so specific to this one, if I'm gonna compare it, it's really no comparison. It's just the leathers on it are totally different. And you can tell even by the tongue, like you can tell 
that the Air Jordan 3 white and red tongue is a lot more tumble, a lot more soft and pliable compared to the True Blue 3 which just feels plasticky and cheap. So I'm really fighting myself over copying another pair. This is just so good. But I have a bunch of threes that I already have in rotation and this will just be part of the collection. Let me know down in the comments if you guys cop the pair, what you guys think overall. Would you have wanted just the white cement instead? But I know this, is, this has been a long time coming for a lot of collectors out there. And I'm basically gonna be calling it the Katrina 3 because that's what I remember firsthand. So if you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think overall about the Air Jordan 3 Katrina. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.